Hey everybody, it's uh, 2 a.m. and we are just starting into our uh, past midnight sessions. We are jumping across uh, the Pacific Ocean and we have faculty from Asia to start talking about lateral ankle issues. Um, we've got an esteemed faculty all led by Dr. Bay who will be moderating this session. Thanks, Dr. Bay. Yeah. Uh, please talk, talk prayer and every everyone, please uh, let me If Dr. Wang will go first, he can pull up his uh, slides and get started. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Please let me introduce okay. my group. Okay. Please. Yes. Let me introduce my group. Is groups. Doctor. Yeah. This is the my group is the echoes the echo the to me okay and my group is the echoes the in in established uh, group. Uh, ankle in stability group. My well, four Spanish the doctor. First the doctor is the doctor Jiang Dong. Doctor Dong Jiang is the Travis the physician and the professor in institutes of the sports medicine of the Peking University. Dr. Bei, uh, the first uh, uh, doctor is the Jun Tao Wang. I'm the third one, please. Yeah, uh, it's the second. Dr. Bei, can we uh, okay. have Dr. Wang start? You can go on with it, Dr. Bay. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Is this? Yeah. Please go on. Dr. Bay. Please, Please go, go on. on. Yeah, OK. To OK, Dr. the first. Uh, the second uh, doctor is the Jian Tian. Is the, he is the director of the food and the surgery at the Wuxi Nice People's Hospital. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. This the first, the third doctor is the, uh, is gone? Uh, yeah. Mm. The first, you can, uh, talk. Excellent. Dr. Wang, if you want to start. Okay, okay Dr. Bay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your <coughs> kind of introduction. And uh, uh, hello, Dr. Parikh, long time no see. And uh, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for having me. I'm Jun Tao Wang from Chiba Hospital of Shan University. And uh, my topic is uh, surgical treatment of acute subluxation of the cranial tendons. Uh, I'm here in East China, Shandong province, and uh, this is my hospital. Uh, I have nothing to disclose. Cranial tendon injuries are the significant causes of the uh, lateral ankle instability among the active population. 
Perineal tendon injuries are easy to be misdiagnosed as lateral ligament injuries. And uh, according to Dombeck, as high as 40% of perineal tendon injuries were misdiagnosed for the first visit. Risk factors of the uh, perineal tendon injuries include a low lean muscle belly and axillary perineal muscles, which could meet the lateral malurus perineal tunnel overstuffing. The shape of the lateral malurus glue, the, there are three shapes of the lateral malurus glue, a flat or convex glue being more prone to luxation of the tendons. Perineal tubercle and the os perineum are also related to perineal tendon tears and dislocation. Ideology. The acute perineal tendon subluxation or dislocation is mainly caused by a sudden force dorsal flexion of the foot along with the eversion of the ankle, which includes which induce strong contraction of the perineal tendons and cause injuries of the superior perineal retinaculum. The pathology. Uh, SPR injuries are well documented. Eric and Davis classified the SPR injuries into three different types. They are type one, dislocated tendon strips to the SPR, Type 2, the fibrocartilage rim has also been stripped away with the SPR. And type 3, there is also an avulsion fracture. The oldest type 4, SPR has turned away from its posterior attachment on the calcaneus. Someone also <clears throat> found the inferior uh, perineal a uh, reticular injury uh, can cause the perineal tendon uh, subluxation or dislocation in arthritis, mainly in arthritis. There is also an interesting type of perineal tendon dislocation within the tendon sheath. The intrasheath subluxation of the perineal tendons uh, has two subtypes. Type A is intact tendons with relative switching of their anatomic alignment. Type B is a longitudinal split within the perineal brevis tendon through which the longest tendon subluxated. A typical actor perineal tendon subluxation always has a history of trauma with swelling tendon is posterior to the lateral malurus. The subluxation can be induced by resisted dorsal flexion of the foot combined with the inversion of the ankle. Here the uh, picture shows the process of the subluxation of the perineal tendons. S3 is useful to locate the presence of a small avulsion fracture of the lateral malurus called the flexin, which is considered both pathogenomic for acute dislocation of the perineal tendons and indicative of a grade 3 SPR injury. MRR is considered the best option for diagnosis of perineal tendon injuries which can detect both the injury of the SPR and the anatomic variations. And here we can see the mm -hmm. low leaning uh, perineal muscle belly. Ultrasound, ultrasound is a very useful method for detect the perineal tendon subluxation. It can't cannot it can not only review the dislocation of the perineal tendons and the tears of the SPR, but also can show the process of the subluxation in a dynamic pattern. Treatment 
conservation treatment uh, should be included in mobilization in a cast in sled planter flexion or in a boat with a two centimeter hill width for six weeks. Conservation treatment has a high failure rate of up to uh, 50%. Uh, then arthritis, young and active patients are recommended to receive surgery treatment. The optional procedure include uh, open or arthroscopic procedures with tendon relocation with uh, SPR repairment with or without screw depending. depending. Uh, next, I will show some cases. Uh, case one is a perineal dislocation with SPR injury, grade one. You can see the, the perineal tendon uh, subluxation and the relocation with the movement of the ankle. Uh, the insulin and the detect the exploration uh, found the SPR here uh, from the fibula. And uh, <clears throat> this video is from the, the operation. Uh, we repair the SPR. A case two is a uh, Acute subluxation of the perineal lungs with the low leaning perineal brevis muscle. So, MR shows the low leaning uh, perineal muscle belly. And uh, exploring, exploration during the operation, we can see the perineal brevis muscle belly here, and then we cut some of the belly and then with uh, a glow dip, depending. <clears throat> Case three is a perineal tendon injuries, uh, injury combined with ATFL injury. So MR shows the injuries of the perineal tendon and the ATFL. Operation the intra operative fluoroscopy shows the so dislocation of the ankle joint and the exploration. We can see the the rupture of the ATFL and the SPR. It repairs the ATFL and the SPR. Uh, here comes the text who message. The perineal tendon injuries are the common cause of lateral ankle pain and instability. However, perineal tendon injuries are easy to be misdiagnosed as lateral ligament injury. Uh, the second MRI and the ultrasound are the most valuable examination for perineal tendon injuries. Surgery is recommend, recommend for athletes, young, and active patients with acute perineal injuries. The ideology of perineal injuries should be considered well for surgery treatment. Thank you. Who will be the second speaker, Dr. Bay? Yeah, the second, uh, the second doctor is the Jian Jian Tian. His the topical is the conceivers the treatment of the acute ankle sprain. Thank you, Dr. Jian Tian. Please.
The second. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Park and uh, his family foundation for inviting me. I'm Dr. Tian. My topic is uh, constructive treatment for acute ankle sprain. Uh, I have no disclosures. Ankle sprain is very common sport uh, injuries, accounting for 50 to 20 percent sport injuries. Most are the tear or rupture of the lateral ligament. These two pictures can show the ATFL, CFL, and the PTFL ligaments. Most ankle sprain can result in tears or ruptures of the ATFL and the CFL ligament. The ATF is the most frequent injury ligament in ankle sprain. The CFF is involved in 50 to 75% of the cases, and the PTF is about 10%. The injury mechanism is excessive internal rotation and the inversion of the hind foot. The classification of the ankle sprain is mainly to judge the severity of the injury, so as to choose the later treatment. Ankle sprain can be divided into three grades. Grade one is mild ankle sprain. Dr. Tian, I don't Only think your uh, slides are moving. Yeah. Your slides are not moving. My screen. Oh, my sorry. Yeah. It's a top ten. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. 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 Your slides are not Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yes, now it works. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Again, again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. You had it working just now. It was working. Oh, just do I mean it? Okay. The classification of the ankle sprain is. You had it working, you know. It was working. Oh. Okay. Now it's okay. 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 The classification of the ankle sprain is mainly to judge the severity of injury, so as to choose the later treatment. Ankle sprain can be divided into three grades. Grade one is mild ankle sprain is stressed to the ATFL called the tear of the ligament fibers. And the clin clinical finding is mild swelling, no laxity, little osmosis. Grade two is moderate ankle sprain. 
maybe the completely tier of the ATFL and the partial tier of the CFL. The clinical findings localized swelling, hemor hemorrhoids, ecmosis, and uh, anterior lateral tenderness. Grade 3 is the severe and considering complete disruption of the ATFL along with CFL and the PTFL. Swelling and acmosis on the lateral ankle. We can use some specific examinations. The anterior draw test can be performed to evaluate the competency of the ATFL. The teletier test can be assessed the CFL laxity. Ottawa ankle rules are commonly used in assessing ankle sprain and uh, can also help to in deciding when radiographic studies are indicated in patients. Bone tenderness at the distal six centimeter of the posterior edge of the tibia or tip of the medial medullus. Bone tenderness at the distal uh, six centimeters of the posterior of the fibula or tip of the lateral medulla maybe have a fracture. The Ottawa ankle rules are significantly sensitive in including ankle fractures. Can reduce the unnecessary radioactive. We always use the imaging assessments. Sometimes we always use the plain radioactive ultrasound and MR. MR always after a six to two weeks period of therapy. The ankle sprain can always have the uh, associated lesions, the uh, nerve injuries, soft tissue injuries, and the uh, intra-articular injuries and uh, bony injuries. The perineal nerve injuries about uh, 70 percent of grade one injuries, grade one, two injuries revealed slow nerve conduction versage, while 80, 60 percent were seen in this in greatest strain. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Tien, your, your my, slide. My, my screen? Yes. Oh, well, we can use the, this situation. OK. Okay. Muscle strength weakness is responsible for erosion and uh, pronation of the ankle complex contributes to function instability in lateral ankle sprain. Acute osteochondral lesions of the lateral tailor dome about 77% uh, uh, and 54% uh, so cartilage damage. The, the emergency treatment is uh, rice uh, principles is the most uh, important principle in emergency uh, management of ankle sprain. Rest patient were provided to with crutches to help them walk until they can walk normal. Weight bearing is limited to light weight bearing. Ice immersion is recommended for up to 20 minutes every two to three hours. Compression, the, per, the patient is provided with a flexible bandage to reduce sweating. Elevation to for better bandages and uh, limbus uh, joints. The treatment principle, we know that uh, a non-treated ankle instability can involve in ankle osteoarthritis. In general, Acute instability and consultative treatment. It's important to identify which acute instability are better to treat it. The immobilization. Grade one don't need the immobilization since they can treat it well by using a flexible wrap for a few days. Grade two requires support for by using a flexible wrap and uh, spilling it for the first few days. Grade three, controlling the range of the ankle motion is recommended. Patients are uh, also recommended to use an ankle radio support for plaster cast to reduce pain about uh, two weeks. 
at the first one to two weeks, wrap the ankle with the elastic bandage to control the atom. Ankle foot also can be used with ankle brace we felt with air, which can be used to limit plantar flexing and dose flexing. Within the four to six weeks, grade two or and grade three ankle strain, we always give the piece and the ankle brace can be used in order to create the appropriate foot sport. They can do some motion exercises such as foot circles, not tendon stretching. Proper safety training program can be uh, between the uh, three to six weeks. This is the uh, allegation for acute ankle injuries. We can follow this procedure for ankle sprain and avoid some missed diagnosis. Okay, thank you. Who's next, Dr. Bay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jiantian. That's the third doctor is the Jiang Dong. Zhong Jiang Professor. His the topical is the uh surgeries of the acute the latest the ankles the ligament injury. When and how? Dr. Dong Jiang, please. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Bay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Parikh. Uh, can you see my screen? Okay. Yes, yes, we can. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm very honored to be here to discuss the surgery of acute lateral ankle ligament injury, when and how. Uh, I'm from Institute of Sports Medicine of Peking University. From the anatomy of an, uh, lateral ankle ligaments, just uh, like presented by Dr. Tian, uh, the uh, lateral ankle ligaments included ATFL, CFL, and the PTFL. The most commonly involved ligaments included ATFL and the CFL. Uh, so uh, for the surgery, for the anatomic repair, we should identify the insertion site of the ATFL and the CFL and for the anatomic repair. For the ankle spring classification, uh, it's graded by grade one, grade two, and grade three. Uh, for the grade one and- Excuse me, I, I don't see you. It's uh, also- stress more. Um, for oh, I'm sorry. Maybe there are some something wrong with uh, for the full screen. Okay. Yeah, maybe you just go to the other view of it. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, from this one, we uh, have presented the anatomy of lateral ankle ligaments, uh, and for the classification of the ankle sprain we can see that the grade one and the grade two uh, ligament injury. Dr. Jiang, Dr. Jiang yeah. your, your screen can't slide. Yeah, it's still not moving. Still, oh, okay. still frozen. Yeah. Okay, let's it's try like again. Like my problem. Mm, okay, let's uh, stop and uh, share again. Yeah, still not coming up.
Okay, I'm sorry. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, now it works. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Maybe the computer wrong. Uh, the classification for the grade one and grade two, the conservative treatment is okay. But for the grade three ligament injury, uh, uh, the treatment is controversial. Although the complete tear or rupture of ligament is for the grade three ligament injury, but the conservative treatment is the first choice. The majority of acute lateral ligament injury responds to conservative functional rehabilitation. However, 20 to uh, 40% sprain would develop to chronic ankle instability with sprain recurrence or persistent symptom. So when should we consider recommending surgery for uh, patients with acute ankle sprains? In this RCT study uh, published in JBJS, uh, they studied the surgical versus functional treatment for acute ruptures of the lateral ligament complex of the ankle in young men. Uh, they found that in terms of recovery of the re-injury activity level, the long-term results of surgical treatment of acute lateral ligament rupture of the ankle correspond with those of functional treatment. Although surgery appeared to decrease the prevalence of re-injury of the lateral ankle ligaments, there may be an increased risk for the subsequent development of osteoarthritis. The other uh, authors pointed out that the indications for the acute lateral ankle sprain is that the diagnosis of a grade three injury in professional athletes was made following MRI examination, demonstrating complete rupture of the ATFL and CFL. Second, the clinical examination at least five days following injury where the ankle was clinically assessed by the senior order to have an unstable anterior jaw and a tighter tear when compared to the opposite side. So uh, in the, this clinical guidelines published in uh, BJSM, uh, they pointed out that the surgery is only uh, advised for patients that require quick recovery, such as professional athletes or whose complaints are not resolved by conservative treatment to avoid unnecessary invasive treatment on patients that would just as well recover from conservative treatment. Uh, especially, they pointed out that the treatment decisions have to be made on an individual basis. I'm very agreed with that. So how can we do the uh, surgery for the acute ankle sprain? For the chronic ankle instability, we know that the modified Bostrom procedure is commonly used and compromises the direct anatomic repair of torn lateral ligaments together with reinforcement of the inferior extensor reticulum. For the acute uh, let the uh, ligament injury, the rupture site could be exposed and anatomic repaired. Uh, in our procedure, first, the MRI was employed to confirm the rupture site of ATFL or CFL. We can see that this case showed the tether side rupture of the ATFL and the calcaneal side rupture of the CFL it can be exposed by the MRI. Second, the end of the ruptured ligament and intraticular injury were identified and treated under arthroscopy. Under this arthroscopy of this case, we can see that the CFL calcaneal insertion of ocean. In these years, the importance of arthroscopy in ankle ligament repair has been published. Uh, the ankle arthroscopy has been recommended for better evaluation and management of associated intraarticular injuries. Uh, we can see that for the uh, chondral lesion of tennis was evaluated and the macrofracture could be performed. 
The location of ligament rupture could be also observed under arthroscopy, facilitating optimal choice of the incision and thus reducing the length of the incision and associated complications. After ankle uh, arthroscopy, a slightly curved longitudinal incision was made three to four centimeters above the distal tip of the fibula, which was guided by the ligament tear site observed under arthroscopy. Care was taken to avoid uh, the intermediate branch of the superficial perineal nerve and the sural nerve. For this case, we can uh, see that the ruptured ends were isolated and the suture anchor was inserted into the insertion site. Uh, for the rupture at the uh, tether side of the ATFL, we can drill two holes uh, with fixation of two suture anchors and then uh, suture the ATFL. Uh, for the calcaneal side rupture of the CFL, it's more complicated we can pull out the perineal uh, tendon and then expose the insertion site of the CFL at the calcaneal side and drill a hole and then fix a suture anchor. The ligament was then braided and pulled underneath the perineal tendon and fixed with the anchor well. After that, the extensor red cannulum was then sutured to the fibular periosteum. Uh, so uh, for the fibular site rupture of the ATFL or CFL, suture anchor is also used. Uh, uh, sometimes with the small avulsion fragments, if it's less than 10 millimeters in diameter, we can also uh, debride the fragment and then use the suture anchor to fix the uh, ruptured ligament. For the avulsion fragments larger than 10 millimeters, uh, reduction and internal fixation are recommended. We can see that this case with a large avulsion of the fibular, distal fibula, uh, and with the uh, rotation. So we should reduct it and internal fix the uh, uh, abortion fragments uh, with a key wire and a screw, then uh, the uh, injured uh, syndesmosis could be fixed with the screw and the button. In patients with the previous history of repeated sprints, there may not be enough ligament tissue for repair after an acute sprain requires ligament reconstruction. Uh, it should be noted that uh, most of the patients of the uh, natural ankle sprain could be repaired with its own uh, ligament tissue, uh, but maybe less than 10% of the acute patients with the previous history of repeated sprain. So we should uh, uh, reconstruct the ligament. Uh, uh, in my operation, uh, I used the uh, anatomical reconstruction with the Krasnitz tendon. In the other uh, studies, uh, some authors have um, published other reconstruction technique. Uh, for example, the extensor red cannon reinforced anatomic ligament to repair. They used the uh, retinaculum as an act actual neural ligament, providing peripheral stabilization of the subtender joint by its calcaneal insertion. Uh, the other technique is the periosteum reinforced anatomic ligament repair. They suggested associating capsule ligament complex uh, retentioning to periosteal reconstruction. The uh, pedicalculated periosteal flap is used as required to reconstruct the ligaments. The other technique is the uh, reinforced anatomic ligament repair with tendons. Uh, they used the plantar tendon for true anatomic anterior and medial bundle reconstruction. 
This year, the use of internal brace in ankle ligament repair has been published. Uh, prosthetic augmentation techniques using suture type augmentation became an introduced procedure, which could expedite the recovery process as well as strengthen the repair construct and protect it from future injury. They also uh, pointed out that the internal brace might be applicable for operative treatment in acute ligament injury to further accelerate the time of uh, rehabilitation. I think this should be uh, 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 confirmed by uh, some RCT studies. So let's conclude uh, when we can do the surgery for the lateral ankle uh, injury. First, the athletes or amateur athletes or physical active patients. Second, quicker uh, return to sports is required. Then clinically and radiologically confirmed grade three ankle sprain. Then combined with intraarticular injuries or other ligament injuries that exacerbate ankle instability. So how can we do the surgery for the acute lateral ankle ligament injury? First, arthroscopy is uh, recommended to treat the intraarticular injuries and identify the location of the ligament injury to guide the direction of the incision. Then the ligament needs to be anatomic repaired according to the location of the tear. Using anchors or bone tunnels is a more stable method. Avulsion fractures need to be dealt with according to their size, and other ligamental injuries need to be also treated to restore the ankle and step in stabilization. Okay, thank you for your attention again, and thank you, Dr. Parikh. Thank you, Dr. Zhang. Dr. Bay, please open your voice. Yeah, Dr. Bay, uh, you are yeah. muted still. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, let me let me discussion. I let me discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, first uh, problem, I ask uh, uh, the Jun Tao Wang. Okay, is the how do you repair the SPR? Uh, so thank you, Dr. B. And uh, um, I usually draw a hole in the uh, front edge of the fibula and then I attach the SPR to the fibula. Um, sometimes I use some soft tissue to, uh, to for this construction of the SPR. Um, if I do a uh, glow depending, uh, maybe it's not so tight, and uh, uh, that's all. Thank you. Yeah. The second uh, problem I asked uh, Dr. Jian Tian is the how to class the ankles, the square according to the service of the ankle sprain, as uh, since most uh, patients only get uh, x ray instead of arthro and MRI. Are you based uh, mainly on the clinical uh, examination? Okay, uh, this is a nice question. When we are in the emergency room and or outpatient clinic, we usually do the X-ray examination to determine whether there is a fracture or not, and they ready to ultrasound or MR examination at that time. I mainly determine the classifi classification according the swelling, bruising, tenderness and uh, whether the patient can walk. If only ATFL has tenderness and uh, mild swelling, it may be grade one. If ATFL and CFL have tenderness, significantly 
swelling, severe ecmosis, and uh, inability to walk. It may be the great two or great three. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Jianhen. The third program I asked with the Dr. Dong Jiang. Okay, how long do you think the more pro uh, properly between the screen and the surgery? Thank you. Uh, I think uh, after the lateral ankle sprain, uh, if the surgery is recommended for this patient, uh, such as the athlete or amateur athlete or some uh, uh, act, uh, physical active patients, uh, we should do the surgery as soon as possible. Uh, I think two weeks, uh, less than two weeks is appropriate uh, because the time is, uh, if the time is too long, there will be more adhesions and edema in the local area, uh, which, which increases the difficulty of the operation. And the recovery after the operation is also more difficult. So I think uh, the surgery is as soon as possible uh, and uh, the, um, long term, uh, the the longest time is uh, better to less than two weeks. Thank you. Okay, Dr. thank Craig, you, Dr. Bay. Uh, on it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dr. So, Bay. We, we can, have uh, we have some uh, questions. Less than 10, Dr. 10 Bay, minutes, 10 we minutes, have one uh, one question. Less. Can you please you you are question? Can you please expand upon the position of the ankle when securing sutures into lateral ligament reconstruction? What position do you put the ankle in? Dr. Jing, do you, Jiang, oh. do you want to uh, answer that? What position do you like the ankle to be placed in when you do a lateral ligament reconstruction? A position, the yeah. uh, ankle position for the, uh, when reconstruct the ligament? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, 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 the anatomic reconstruction uh, is recommended for the uh, Site. So the anatomic uh, site of the ligament is first recommended. For the fibula, uh, if uh, it's only the, um, the ATFL rupture, maybe I choose the, um, um, uh, the uh, about 10 millimeters above the distal point of the uh, fibula to uh, uh, to place the uh, tunnel. Uh, if there is the both ATFL and the CFL rupture, I um, only use one uh, bone tunnel. The bone tunnel may be about five millimeters above the distal point of the fibula. Uh, right, but, but what position do you keep the ankle in? Do you put it at neutral? Do you put him in E version? Where do you like to have the ankle when you're tightening the, the soft tissues? Uh, I will make it in the neutral, not too, uh, because the reconstructed ankle uh, will be very tight if we uh, uh, over uh, eversion. So okay. I make it the neutral position. And do you posteriorize the talus at all? Uh, uh, Brad. Yeah. Dr. Young, do you posteriorize the the talus at all when you tighten the ligaments or no? Mm, posterior, posterior anterior. Do you do a posterior drawer on the ankle while you're doing the tightening? Uh, no, we just uh, uh, make it in the uh, neutral position. Okay. And do you- But, re if, we, but if we do the uh, repair, we uh, do the posterior drawer. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you, I'm sorry, one more question we're getting. That's uh, 10 minutes. Let me, uh, 
topic uh, uh, case of the uh, case. Okay. Sure. Okay. Looks correct. Please share your screen, Brother B. Yes, you can go ahead. Take a case. Who has a case to share? Dr. B. Yeah. Okay. So your yeah. case? Yeah, a case of the top discussion. Do you have a case to share? So your screen? Yeah. Okay. Is case okay? Yeah, it's the case of the ankle spring. It's the the, the case so, from the Chilo Dr. Hospital of your the Sandal University. You need me to share it's the, the surgery screen. is the uh Jia Bay, Qing Xu and the uh you, you need Ju, to share uh, the Jun Tao Ling and the uh, Jun Tao Wang doctor. I'm a report. I'm a report. I'm at the Chao Yong Bay, and I, I'm from the Affinity Hospital, Guilin Medical University. Yeah? Can you share your screen, Dr. It's the 18 years old young lady let the ankle sprain injury when go down three, one week before she came to our department. Dr. It's Bay. the PE, Dr. Bay. it's the leg, the ankle swain, tendons, and the movement ligament. Class of the lead daughters and the person's acuity was the normal, and the century of the foot was the normal. Okay, it's the appearance. It's the swell. Uh, yes, X-ray is there. Yeah, uh, one is the a little fracture, little fracture. The other is the normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is the dialogue and the treatment uh, conservative or the surgery? Yeah. Surgery and the treatment uh, rotational. Fracturing and the medicine, and uh, the normal indication dilated the ligament injection. Yeah, it's the interpretation for the couple. It's the dislocation, Dis dislocation. It's the, it's the expressions under the osteocopa. It's open, it's the ethro, delays the ligament uh, rupture. Here is the astro. Okay. It's the sprinter for four weeks, four weeks. Yeah. So the ankle and the toes move at the four weeks. This is the toe take home message. It is the important uh, read the regional emergency salary. The second uh, ankles the dislocation with the no fracture or only a small a villager fracture is the easy to move it dialogue. Three, 
is the always keep an air on the soft tissue is maybe the key on the surgery. Thanks. Excellent. Well, thank you everybody for participating. Um, I know we've, we've had some te technical difficulties, um, but our team has been working through that. Um, I appreciate all of your time for coming on and uh, we will see everybody in about two minutes for the next session. Thanks, Dr. Bay. Thanks to everybody, Dr. Wang. Thank Dr. you, sir. Dr. Beck. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.